Hello, my name is Paul Miners. Welcome back to another one of my Asana training videos. In this video, I want to give you some tips on how to clean up and organize your My Tasks page in Asana. This is an area of Asana that we see users often struggling with. Maybe you don't even use the My Tasks page at all, in which case you're really missing a really useful part of Asana. Or maybe you're like one of the clients we've worked with where your, your My Tasks is full of lots of tasks, but there's no structure or sense of priority, and it makes it really hard to decide what to work on next. So stay tuned. I'll be giving you some tips in this video, but if you have any questions at the end, feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you would like one-on-one -on -one help with setting up or optimizing your Asana account, or if you'd like team training for your team so that we can improve the adoption of Asana within your company, then click on the link in the description below to learn more about my Asana consulting options. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Now let me start by clarifying what this My Tasks page is all about, or what is its purpose? Firstly, you'll find it up here on the sidebar, and this page basically shows me any task that is assigned to me. So if I click on this task here, you'll see the assignee is me, Paul Miners. And so anything I assign to myself, or if other people assign tasks to me, whether that's a task in one of my projects, or if I just create a standalone task, it, it doesn't have to be in a project. You can see here, I can just create a random task for myself that's, that's not in a project. It could even just be a subtask. So I could create this subtask. Anything with my name on it that's assigned to me will appear on this screen. And the purpose of this page is it's the page that shows you everything you need to do. And I've said this in many of my videos before, but it's probably the page that I spend about 80 to 90% of my time using. Rather than having to click through my projects, this is what we find most people do, is they click through all of their projects to go and find their tasks. And you're actually making life harder than it needs to be. If you use the My Tasks page properly and you organize it correctly, you can actually just work from this screen and Asana will tell you what you need to do today, tomorrow, and this week. And so that's what I'm gonna be showing you here. Now, when you first sign up to Asana, you'll probably have some um, default sections similar to what I've got here you should have something called recently assigned. This is the sort of default section or the, really the section at the top of the page, this recently assigned one. This is where tasks go when they are assigned to you. So like when I assigned this subtask to myself, it goes into the topmost section, which as I've said, is probably called recently assigned. You might have slightly different sections to me. And then I also have some additional sections for what I'm working on today, this week, next week, and what's coming up later. And if you want to create new sections of your own or just copy what I've done here, you can add a section up here or you can add sections here and give it a name. Just remember that the section at the very top, that's gonna be the one that tasks go to by default when they're assigned to you. Now, how I recommend using this page is to set up some rules which is gonna have Asana automatically move tasks through these sections as they fall due. And there's only two rules that we need to set up. So I'm gonna to go to my customize menu here. And if I scroll down, here is where I can create some rules. You can add a rule here. And what we want to use is one of these due date is approaching rules. So if I click uh, on this template here, I, can, I recommend having a rule where if the due date is approaching and it's due today, we can have Asana automatically move that task to your today section. And I've actually already got that rule set up here. So here it is. If a task is due today, move it to the today section. Pretty simple. The other rule is if it's due or when it's due rather one week before, move it to the next week section. So those are the two rules we set up. Now let me explain how they're gonna work in practice and how I recommend using this page. So as I mentioned before, when tasks get assigned to you, either tasks you create for yourself or if other people on your team assign you tasks, they're gonna arrive in this top section here, which mine is called recently assigned. Now the trick here is this should be a temporary holding place for your tasks. You should not leave tasks in this section. And that's kind of probably the most common mistake we see people make is they don't sort their tasks, they just leave them here. And then you end up with a big mess like I have here, all these tasks, some of them have due dates, some are overdue, some of them are coming up today, but it's all just really unorganized. What we need to do instead 
is then triage these tasks into the different sections. And we can do that by clicking this little arrow here and you can move the task to one of these sections. So because this task here is due today, I'm gonna to move this to my today section and you'll see it will appear down here in that today section. If you have anything coming up in the next seven days, like this one here is coming up on Tuesday, I would put this in your, uh, ooh, I would put this in your this week section or actually rather, actually this is next week. So sorry, I'll put mine into next week because it's the next working week. Some people, by the way, if you've just created your Asana account, you might have a section called upcoming, which kind of acts the same as these two, but I've just sort of customized mine slightly differently here. And then anything that you have that's due more than a week away. So like this one here that's due next month in June, I'm gonna move to later. So very simple. You just triage the tasks into those different sections based on the due dates. If you have any tasks like this with the red dates, because these are actually overdue, I recommend updating the due dates because we can't plan our time towards a date that's in the past. I can't plan to do this yesterday. It doesn't, that's not how time works. So I am gonna, uh, what I might do is say, okay, well, I didn't do this yesterday. I'll do this on Friday instead. So I'm gonna update my due date and then I'll rearrange this. I'll put this into this week because that's this working week. And then any tasks that don't have a due date, like these ones here, you see there's no due date assigned. I would actually recommend trying to put a due date on them because if I don't have a due date and I move it to one of these sections, let's say I put this into uh, next week. So it goes down, it goes down here. It's now going to stay there because there's no date on this task. My rules that I've created, which I'll be explaining shortly, those rules can't run because there's no due date on the task. So my suggestion with these ones is try and put a due date on all of your tasks, even if that's what I would call a soft due date, even if it's a date that's flexible, maybe you change that later. I think it's better from a time management and planning point of view to put some kind of date on your tasks so that you can plan your time. And so now what I'll do is I'll go through, I'll sort the rest of these tasks and I'll sort them into my today, this week, next week, and later sections based on these dates. So here we go, that's step one complete. You see my recently assigned section is now empty. I've triaged and I've sorted all of my tasks. And that is a best practice or that's a habit that you really wanna get into and be following every single day. As new tasks come in, sort them into today, this week, next week, or upcoming if you have an upcoming section, or later based on the due dates. Now, with that done, let's explain how these rules work. So if I go down to later here, if I have a task like this, assign parent task to designer, you see this is due on the 22nd of June. And this rule that I created, remember, if it's due or when it's due seven days out, move it, move the task to the next week section. So what that's gonna mean is on June 15th, when this is seven days away from being due, Asana will automatically move that up into my next week section. And that's gonna run at midnight. And that's an important, um, clarification I want to make with these rules is the rules run at midnight. I often have people asking me, you know, oh, I've changed the dates, you know, maybe if I assign this to today, people are expecting that if I assign that to today, the rule here should move that to today. That's actually not how it works. Asana runs the rules at midnight because it's a due date approaching tasks. It waits till midnight and when the date changes, it looks at everything due that's coming up in seven days and it moves them from later into next week. And then anything that's due today will move into today. So if I have a task like this, which is actually due tomorrow, this will move up into my today section at midnight tonight. So what that means is every single morning I can open up my Asana and my today section here has been refreshed and it's showing everything that's due today. Or if I use a start date, let's say I have this starting tomorrow and finishing next week, it should now move based on the start date. And so this is basically how I've been using Asana for the last 10 years or so. Since I started using Asana back in 2012, uh, I simply move the tasks from that recently assigned section into my today, upcoming and later sections. And then I let Asana take care of the rest because I have those rules running in the background. Each morning I open up my Asana and my today section just shows me what I have due or starting that day. And this highlights the importance of using start dates. 
even if it's a flexible sort of soft deadline that I move and I, you know, maybe I want to postpone that task to later, it just means I have an opportunity because Asana is going to put it in my today section. I can look at it. I can be reminded about it. And if I want to, I can change the date, move it back down to later, and those rules will rerun later and, I, and the task can resurface when I'm ready. And the other reason I really like working in Asana this way is that it keeps my My Tasks page really clean. You can see actually most of the time I keep my this week, next week, later section closed. I really just focus on what I have due today. And you can see this is a really clean, simple list that helps me to focus and prioritize what I'm working on today. Now I know that not everyone is going to like working this way. You know, we all have different preferences and ways we like to work. Fortunately, on this My Tasks page, there are a few other ways that we can view our tasks. There is a board layout, but really it's not that different to the list view. It's just switching the rows into columns, but there we go. You can look at this as a board if you like. There's also a calendar view where you can look at the upcoming week, you know, slightly more uh, sort of just different visual way of, of looking at what's coming up today uh, and what's coming up this week or at the, uh, at the weekends. You can also, if I go back to my list view, there are some sorting options here. And what I find a lot of particularly new users do in Asana is they will sort their tasks by due date because this makes a lot of sense. Let's just sort them in order of date. But as you can see here, this is just one big list. There's no real structure. It's quite hard to sort of prioritize and it just is a big list that can feel quite overwhelming if you have a lot going on. So I personally don't like sorting by due date. There is also the option to sort your tasks by project. If you wanna see kind of project by project what you have coming up, this might be useful to you. But again, I'm not a huge fan of this because it's just a very big list. Personally, I don't apply any sorting. I sort by none and I work within these sections and I use the rules because I find, like I said, it's the cleanest, it's the more sort of minimal approach where it keeps my, lists, my list of tasks really clean. And again, Asana kind of tells me what to do. The rules run at midnight, move the tasks around for me. I open up Asana the next day and I can get to work nice and quickly. The other common mistake that I see a lot of people making is simply assigning too many tasks to themselves. It's very easy when you're new to Asana, it's exciting, we put everything in there. But I see a lot of people adding things to Asana like articles they wanna read, they just put random notes in there, or even tasks for things like they might wanna do someday, they're just kind of ideas, but they're not really committed to doing that work yet. So they put all these things in Asana, they assign them to themselves, and again, that list gets really overwhelming, it gets really messy. So for tasks like this, you know, articles or books I want to read, notes that I've taken in a meeting, or maybe ideas that I'm still working on, but I haven't really committed to or decided that I want to proceed just yet, I don't think these things belong on your My Tasks page. I think we want to keep your My Tasks page for the important, time-sensitive tasks that you've committed to working on in the upcoming days and weeks and months. So we need to unassign these because that's going to remove it from this page, but I also don't want to lose track of these tasks. So I've created this project here called Someday, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my shift key and I'm going to shift click to select these three tasks, and then I'm going to move them to that Someday project. So I put them in that Someday project, here we are down here, we can see them, there we go. And the last thing I'll do is I'll select them again and I'm gonna remove myself as the assignee by clicking that X next to my name. So now they've disappeared, they're no longer on my tasks. That This page now is only those time sensitive, important things that I'm working on in the short term. And this someday project, I could review this once a week, once every couple of weeks, every month. And if there's something in here that I decide, you know what? I'm ready to move forward with this. I wanna work on this idea. I would then reassign this to myself. I would put a date on it. So maybe I decide I'm gonna work on this next week. And then now if I go back to my tasks, here it is in the recently assigned section. Just like before, I will then move this to the appropriate section. So because this is due on Tuesday, I'll put it into, oh, I'll put it into uh, next week. And then because I have this rule running here, Next week, on the due date, that task is going to resurface and it's going to appear in my today section on the due date. I don't have to worry about forgetting about it. So that, I think, is a useful way of managing those sort of less important, uh, you know, tasks, ideas and things you don't want to lose track of, but they're not really time sensitive. You don't need to do them in the short term. 
So that is a look at how to organize your My Tasks page. As I said, this is often an area of Asana that people just don't use or they're not really following good best practices. So I encourage you to adopt the rules that I've shown you here today or try some of those other methods of sorting your tasks and make it a habit each day of looking at your My Tasks page, keeping it up to date, keeping it tidy. And if there's anything you didn't have time to complete that day, because sometimes you, you run out of time or urgent work comes up, then make sure you update those due dates at the end of the day. You can change them to tomorrow or the next day or next week and then sort the task accordingly. That way you can keep your My Tasks really clean. There's nothing overdue and it makes just keeping on top of your work and planning what to do next that much easier. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.